welcome back to my channel it's your girl kayla here or miss glass as some people like to call me and today i'm bringing to you guys a teacher vlog and just like a whole life update in general so y'all probably see the title and you're wondering girl what's going on like what's happening and if you don't know um because for some of you this might be your first time coming across my channel i am a teacher and I've been teaching for the past five years. So as soon as I graduated from school and I went to Howard University, um, I moved to Kentucky and began teaching there for a year. And then the past four years, I've been teaching here in Georgia. And I absolutely love teaching. And I also love kids. Like I love being around my babies, my students. And I don't want anyone to think that like, I just hate teaching now that's not it you know originally i was going to take a break from the profession um and if y'all watched my previous video where i talked about how i lost my dream home you guys remember that the reason i didn't get that house was because i had took a break from my job i didn't sign my contract that was honestly the reason why i came back to the profession because i wanted to get my home and i knew i needed a job to be able to get it you know that was all a learning experience for me the reason I decided to stay after getting a house and, and like continue teaching was because I felt like I wanted to at least give it another year. Because at the time, I, I was teaching virtually, honestly, and it was, I was very happy with teaching virtually. I did miss my students in the physical form, but it just all worked out for me so perfectly. So I was like, okay. I really love the school year that I had virtually. Let me do a year in person. So that's exactly what happened this year. My first year teaching virtually, I was also doing YouTube as well. That's where my YouTube just kind of took over. And it was very like, I'm gonna say easy for me to balance YouTube and teaching because I was at home majority of the time. This year, it's been way different. I feel like I haven't had as much time to do YouTube because a lot of my energy, most of my energy, to be honest, y'all, it goes into teaching. This is like my number one job. It's my priority. It is, it is teaching. So when I come into the classroom and I give my students my all, when I get home, y'all, I'm tired. Like I'm exhausted and I do not have a lot of time to do what was making me so happy last year, which was a lot of the projects and creating content and building relationships with you all. And I feel like now that I've been in the classroom uh, for these five years, I can now take an opportunity to do something else. And I also feel like it's time. It's never that I had a limit on, oh, I'm gonna stay here for five years or four years or three years. It's just whenever I felt like it was ready, I was ready. So yeah, it's just when I felt like I was ready. And now again, I feel ready. You know, when I quit my job that first time, I thought it was a mistake. Now I know that this is the right thing for me to do now and start working on all the other goals that I have for myself and all the other business ventures that I've been wanting to do. And um, some of those things are kids related and some of them are not. So that is my decision, y'all. I am not even hanging up my teaching role because I'm starting something that has to do with teaching and it has to do with kids very soon. Um, but in terms of like being in the classroom role, you know, all day long, that hat I am hanging up and I cannot be, I cannot be like more happy. I feel like, like I said, it's the best decision for me right now um, to just become my own boss, invest all my energy into myself and like building my own personal brands. You know, I never thought that like with YouTube, I would be, it would grow and become this successful. Like just being honest, I never ever thought that. Like when I started posting my house hunting videos, I was doing it just because I always love YouTube and I always love watching those type of videos. So I was like, you know, I could create something like that. And that's honestly how it ended up happening. And as I was sharing with y'all, my journey of trying to find a home um, and sharing something that I love so much, to come to find out a lot of y'all love the same thing. So we just connected right off the bat and everything just continued to grow and things are continuing to grow now in present day. But yeah, looking back when I posted my first video, 
I was not expecting that y'all. I really, really was not. I've been so entirely grateful that now I can say that I am going to be able to sustain myself on YouTube and I'm gonna be able to sustain myself on social media. And I'm in a position now where I'm able to start my own businesses that I've been wanting to start and have been dreaming of starting for years because of YouTube. I won't have the combined income anymore, but with Marcus and I joining together in our union, we do think that we're gonna be just fine. So this is the time now to try everything and put my all into all my goals and things that I have for myself. And he is completely supportive of that. So it's all my other family and friends, everybody's super supportive and super happy for me. And they also agree that like, yeah, girl, this is your time, go ahead and do it. So I'm doing it and I hope you guys continue to support me too. But I did want to go ahead and let y'all know what's going on because I didn't want August to roll around. You're like, girl, why aren't you back in school? Because I know I have a lot of teacher people on here as well who follow me as well as my reading track account. So I just wanted to be transparent and let y'all know that's what's going on. So in this vlog, we are about to pack up my entire classroom. Everything in here pretty much belongs to me because if you watch my first vlog, you know that this room was just a total blank slate. All right, y'all, so I am about to make end of the year gifts for all my students. I got these gift bags from Walmart. They're a really good deal and there's 13 in a pack. <clears throat> So I'm gonna personalize them for each one of my kids. I like printed out these from PowerPoint with their names on them. And then I have like a whole bunch of goodies to go in these bags. So I printed out tags for everything. This says you blew me away this year and they're gonna go on these little bubble sticks that I got. I also found these that I thought were so cute. It says bookworms to keep you company while you're reading all summer. So I got these little worms. So we'll place these in little baggies for each of them. And then I have this one that says let's chalk it up to a great school year. So I have all this chalk over here and I'm gonna split it up so they can each get about like four pieces each because I only have 12 students. Oh, and then this is my favorite. You shine bright this year. So I have sunglasses to go with these. Y'all, pretty much all this stuff is from Walmart. And finally, I have a letter to them with my email so they can write me anytime over the summer. And I think that's just about it. So let's go ahead and get started on making the bags. Someone that I know. So I just made all the bags and they look super duper cutesy. I just wanted to have a little personal touch. And if you're making any of the year gifts for your kids, you don't even have to use, you can just write your names on it, whatever. But these are super duper easy to make on PowerPoint. So now I'm about to attach all the labels to every item. This is so tedious, but it makes everything look super cute. So that's really the reason why I'm doing it. So those were super easy to put together. I feel like this is the easiest little gift for the babies. Um, these glasses, like I said, they came from Walmart and I feel like they were a pretty good price. You get four in a pack for less than $4, I believe. 
Don't quote me on that. I'll have everything linked down below for any of my teacher friends who aren't here. Like, you're not getting out of school with your students in May. Maybe y'all get out in June or July. You live in another part of the country or somewhere else in the world. You can pick these up. So now I'm going to do my bubbles. And these are going to say, you blew me away. These bubbles are such a good deal. I get them every single year for my students. They're basically, you get all six of these for five dollars i think that's just such a great deal so i'm going to take all these out the pack right now and these have like a little loop-de-loop -loop here so you could string the tag on and i did that one year but this year y'all like i'm about to do the same thing i did with the sunglasses <laughs> and just use like a little piece of tape to pop the label on Remember why you have my number I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make, you're falling The way my lips feel on your body Now I want to work on the chalk. Like I said, I got 64 pieces and this was a really good deal, but you do have to split it up. That's the only like annoying thing, I guess. So we have all of these, so I'm gonna open all of them up and then I'm going to put them in these little treat bags. These aren't the ones I ordered. Y'all got everything from Walmart, like I said, but I did a Walmart delivery order. So these don't look like what they are supposed to be because I wanted them to be able to read the label through it. But now I probably just have to put the label on the outside of the bag instead of the inside. you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body the way we're dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling Alright, so these are what the little chalk baggy bags look like. Super cute. I want to be So now I'm about to put the bookworms. Cut these up and put the gummy worms inside of the baggies. And then this will be like my last thing that I need to personalize. And then after this, I'm just gonna fold up my letters for them. And that'll literally be it. And then we're just gonna stuff everything in the bags. So, I just love the way that these turned out. They're just so cute. These little book bags. For all the little gummies super quick super easy i mean so cost effective and cheap so got these like them being pretty honey let's just face it all right so other things that i'm putting in their baggies that don't need labels are the green pops fruit snacks these freezy pops which are a little sticky Balloon, the letter, you guys saw that, more candy, and 
also have these beautiful books from my subby, Ella B. Jenkins. So they're each gonna get one of these books. Ella B. Jenkins mask and the Ella B. Jenkins keychain. Thank you to my subby again. They're gonna absolutely love these and not expect them. One more thing I have for them too is a summer packet and it's full of like fun activities that they can do all throughout the summer to keep them engaged and learning and getting ready for third grade. So I'm about to open these bags and stuff everything inside. Alright y'all, so this is how the bag turned out. So cute. I had the um took this out to show my co-workers, but so we have the bubble wand, the summer packet, we have the gummy worms, the letter from me, markers. Some of the kids brought candy, so they passed out like these little tootsie rolls to each other. We have the chalk, sunglasses. Ella B. Jenkins mask, Ella B. Jenkins keychain, fruit snacks, and just like some other little um, popsicles down there. So those were the bags. I'm so happy. The kids absolutely love them. All right, y'all. So I am about to begin taking down this wall. Y'all remember when I first put it up? Look at it now, it lasted, y'all. Hot glue is your best friend. That's a little teacher tip. So I'm about to take it all down and I'm not saving anything except for the stuff that I've laminated, but like the border and all that, I usually save it every year. Like even this I reused from my second year of teaching and it's lasted me so long, uh, which is another teacher tip. If you feel like you're gonna be in the classroom again, save your border because border is so expensive. Over here I have like this thing is all full of border. I am gonna keep this stuff because it's never been used most of it. Um, but the stuff that's already up on the walls, I'm literally just about to snatch it down. Don't fall for it. Don't listen to them, baby. And just like that, it's done. I'm about to work on the birthdays and then do my whole little math wall real quick. So I have a lot of organizational stuff. I'm gonna be keeping these things because they were not cheap. 
and I'm just gonna take out my stuff and then stack everything over here on the table that I'm gonna be keeping. I like these cute little pink bins. I think I got these from Target. Oh yeah, Target dollar spot. They were $3. Good morning everybody so this is technically like the last day of school and then after this we have two post planning days so this is what my room is looking like right now you guys just a quick overview pretty much everything is off the walls except for the big word wall right here but that's gonna take like two seconds to snatch down so yeah I feel yesterday I was feeling really tired Today, I feel a lot better and I feel a lot more motivated to tackle like um, more of this stuff. So I really wanna spend some time over here today, like organizing my library. And then I meant to bring some freezer bags because at the end of the year, I like to put all my markers in freezer bags and sort them by type. So I have a lot of these little tubs here on my desk that we put together earlier this year. We meaning you and me, my YouTube fam. So, okay. And then I have some, a few things inside of this desk. And then all of that stuff over there in the like white tubs, I bought all of those tubs from Dollar Tree. And some of the stuff in the tubs is mine and some of the stuff belongs to the school because they're like math manipulatives and stuff. Give me something, give me something now, oh.
right, good morning, you guys. So today is the second to last day before I'm like officially out of here. So I brought in some boxes today that I'm gonna be using to pack up everything, like all of my greenery and decor back there. I have put all of my textiles in a big baggie. Also, honestly, y'all, I didn't get a lot of footage from yesterday because the kids, mm, the kids who were here and only had two, they were like, what we need to do, I'm gonna do it. Like they were really helping me. And I was trying to film everything for y'all because I was so tired. And I'm like, if the kids wanna help, I'm gonna let the kids help. So I had one student organize like all the stuff in here for me, which I'm going to leave for the next year teacher. Like I don't need all this hand sanitizer and like all these spoons and tissue and stuff and band-aids. That's something the teacher next year can use. And then we got all of this out, all the border. Had a student do that for me. And we got everything out of here too. So we made some progress. Also, I think I showed you guys, I took everything out of the bins and most of this stuff, well, yeah, a lot of it, if it was mine, I'm not keeping it anymore. So you have some manipulatives here. These were mine, but I'm, I'm not keeping them whole bunch of highlighters here like I feel like this is good stuff that the next teacher can have and use paint leaving behind all my crayons and stuff a whole bunch of markers and stuff and then color pencils this one is actually really nice got those off Amazon but um this is also mine too this paper organizer but it's so bulky and I just don't see myself using it anymore like I'm never gonna need like all of this colorful paper. So I think I'm just gonna end up leaving this here as well. Rulers, dry base board, and then all the crates are up here that we had in our library over there. And then these tubs I actually bought, these little ones to organize everything. They're from the Dollar Tree. I'm leaving those behind too. So index cards, clocks, manipulatives, beads, pins, scissors and glue, expo markers, post-its, like, I don't need it, I don't need it. And then up here, these are notebooks. I think the school gave these to us, I don't remember, but we didn't use them. So I just left those here too. And I don't know what, it's probably some folders and stuff. So yeah, that's what this is looking like. And then over there are like, um, curriculum books and stuff so hopefully the next teacher is grateful for everything that i'm leaving behind i know that like when i came into this room there wasn't anything here so the other teacher at the time she was new too so and but she had a lot of stuff in her room so we actually i got a lot of this stuff that i'm like keeping here the school stuff from her because my room didn't have anything like if you guys go back and watch that video you know my room was bare 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 so I think it's good to leave the next teacher some stuff so they're not coming in and like, and then like they have to buy everything from scratch or just go borrow things from other teachers. Like that's stressful. So here's all the border that we took out. I tried my best to put everything in like these little baggies because this is stuff that I know I wanna reuse because I have plans on, um, I just have some plans, you guys. Like, I can share with you guys one of my big goals is to work with teachers at some point and help them decorate their classrooms. So, I want to keep some of the resources that I have to be able to do that type of stuff. And, and like, a lot of this border is really, really good. Like, it's good border, so I want to keep it. I'm not going to get rid of this type of stuff because it's going to help me with my future goals. In this bag, these two bags, I have all my farmhouse decor, so I'm going to keep it. And, you know, like I said, when I work with a teacher, maybe they'll want to do farmhouse decor and I'll have a lot of those resources already. I basically would love to be able to gift books as well to teachers who don't have any. Like, for example, my classroom library, like my personal inventory of books when I got here, was very very limited like I only had like maybe I don't know 
maybe less than 20 books of my own personal collection. And I wanna keep those because those are books that I would like to always have to put in every teacher's classroom that I like help through my Reading Shark Foundation. So, I have plans y'all, I have plans. And I'm excited about everything. So maybe I'll go do the books now. So y'all, out of all those books, <laughs> these are the few that like actually belong to me. Like I said, it's probably only 20 of them. So those are the books that I'll be packing away in the boxes soon. How long has it been since I felt like this? About anything. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait no more. How long do we have to put up with this lonely charade? As long as I know that I'm winning, I play this game. But I want you close, baby, right now. I know you feel the same. I don't wanna wait. I don't wanna wait no more. Ooh, when you put your arms around me, we go flying into ecstasy. Alright y'all, so I have taped up one, two boxes, my tree is done, I still have this big box left just for any extra things, um, this whole tub is full of Christmas and like Valentine's Day decor, this box needs to be taped up, I don't really know where I'm going to put these but this whole bag is like full of water and then I have some cleaning supplies back there that I'm going to bring so we're being released for the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head out because there's really not much else for me to do. And, ooh, this is heavy. This bag I'm taking home with me. It has my document camera. And let me actually leave myself a few pair of gloves because some stuff I just don't be wanting to touch with my bare hands for tomorrow and just like batteries and light bulbs and stuff so i'm taking this home with me right now and i'm about to roll out all right y'all so today's my last day in the classroom kind of bittersweet feeling a little emotional this morning okay but i have packed up just about everything in the boxes i'm about to go place those in my car and then i'm gonna come back and get the rest of the stuff um, and then that's going to be it, you guys. That's going to close out my current journey as a teacher. <laughs> my car is a little messy, but I got the packages in, y'all. Second trip, here we go. Also, so far, this is what the car is looking like. 
It's getting packed up, y'all. <laughs> this is too funny to me. I'm making use of every piece of my car. All right, you guys, I am closing the door. I am saying goodbye. I am moving on and I'm starting this new journey in my life. You guys, please stay tuned. Leave all your kind and encouraging words down below. You guys are the absolute sweetest. And I'll see y'all in my next video. It's only up from here. I'm claiming it in Jesus' name. And here's to the next chapter.